I'm just going to show you how quickly and easy it is to run a payroll with Sage 50 payroll. The first thing you need to do is to change your processing date to the next processing period, be that weekly or monthly. It will tell you in this column here when your last update was. The next thing you would do is to check your IR Secure mailbox to see if there was any tax code changes. If you click on that, it dials up to your mailbox and if there was any tax code changes would simply be in here. You would open them and apply them to the employee record. Now you're ready to process the payroll. If you have standard hours each month, these won't change and you simply click on next to go to the next person. Once that's been done, the processing element of your payroll has been finished. You would now print off any reports that you require. We'll print off a payment summary so that you can have a look at it. This summary shows gross pay, any tax if it was due, any NI if it was due, student loans, and then net pay. After you've printed your reports, you can go and print off your pay slips. This is an example of what a payslip would look like with your company name, employee name, their salary details and their net pay. Once all your reports have been done, you need to update their P11, which is done via the update records. You've then finished the payroll unless you have levers in which case you would highlight the necessarily lever, go to process levers. It would ask you to input their leave date. You then print off their P45 to give to them. This is what it looks like. Click on finish. Once you're sure that all the processing has been done for that particular period, you would click on the full payment summary, submission to HMRC. It would show you all the things that you need to check to make sure that that is correct. And you would simply click on submit this would dial up to your mailbox and submit the information to HMRC.